So before we get started, uh, these are sticks. I picked these up at Home Depot. And uh, the 12-pack of the small ones and the 3-pack of the large ones were the same price. They were, I think, $1.48 or $1.78, but less than 2 bucks. okay? You can order them on Amazon, but I have to tell you the price is significantly le uh, more expensive. Okay? <coughs> so, we want three. One big one, two little ones, and then a piece of wood. I got this from a um, dollar store, Dollar Tree. And it is... 10 by one and a half by about three quarters of an inch wide. Perfect size for what I want. Two small ones, one large one. Now on one of the small ones, this is gonna be a kid. So, you know, we wanna make him small. So I'm gonna use a pencil and a ruler. I think that is pretty good height for a kid. And then mom is going to be taller. And then dad is going to be not too much taller than mom, but you know, taller. Now, these are going to have to be cut, so I'm going to take those out to the workshop uh, in just a minute. We're going to talk about this. You are going to need a lot of white paint here. You are going to need some holiday picks or some greenery of some kind to put on here that is holiday. And uh, let's see what else. Hmm. Something to protect your work surface, some paint brushes. Uh, you might want to use some primer because balsa wood will suck up paint. And you're going to want some hot glue and some wood glue. Okay? So I'm going to go get these cut down and get my work surface protection out. And then I'll be right back and we're going to work our way through this. I'll be right back. I have some extremely heavy body titanium white paint, a paintbrush, and I'm going to be putting a fairly liberal base coat on here. We're going to be doing this to all the pieces. Why? Because we're, you know, because we're making a snowman family and they're supposed to be white. paint. And I'm going to let this dry. Of course, I'm going to paint the snowman too. So, but we're going to let these all dry. And once they're all dry, then we're going to start putting this thing together. And, you know, decorating and doing that stuff, okay? All right, here we go. Drying. I'll be right back. All right, so here's all of our pieces cut down. Um, and these are the leftovers. We're going to save those. And these are our top pieces. We know that because they have the little divots in them. And we're just going to paint 
all of these with a base of white as well. And I'm still using that very heavy body white paint. You can use any white paint you have. <coughs> now, if you buy the, if you get these from the Home Depot, they have this writing on them. You can sand this off with some light sandpaper and this will come off pretty easy. And then um, if you wanna make sure it doesn't bleed through, start off with a very light gray coat of paint and then paint white over that, okay? That will help, unless you have a primer. If you have a primer, then by all means use a primer. So I'm gonna get these painted and let them dry. I'm gonna get two coats on here. And once they're dry, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna start doing a little bit more on these, okay? So I will be back in just a few minutes. All right, so for the next part, we are gonna get out some paint, some black and some orange. I'm actually using bronze because I don't have any orange paint. I could go in the other room. I bet you I know somebody who has some. Uh, some really fine paint brushes. I mean, these are tiny, tiny little paint brushes. And then anything that's like circular, like a dot, so you could use the tail end of a paint brush if you want to, or like a pokey type tool, something like that. And you know, we're just gonna create faces. We're gonna come down about an inch. We're gonna give them some eyes. And then, let's see, I want that one to be a little bigger, there we go. Where did I put that paper towel? There it is. Okay. And then, we're going to put some buttons down the front. And we're going to do this on all of our little snowmen and then we're going to let that dry and we're going to come back in. Okay, this is Daddy. Daddy's got a bigger head, so he probably has bigger eyes. There we go. And he certainly has bigger buttons. Now you could use gemstones for this, or stickles, or uh, you could cut little felt pieces, whatever you wanna do, okay? And this guy's our baby. So he has little tiny eyes. A little bigger than that, there we go. And little buttons. All right, now the next part of this is giving them noses. Because you know, you gotta have noses. And we can't forget that they need mouths. So we're gonna let all of that dry 
And then when we come back, we're going to dress them up a little bit. And then we're going to get them installed. All right? So I'm going to let these dry, and I will be back. Okay. Now, everybody's dry. This is our base piece. It's dry. Uh, we're going to add a few extra things here, a few more things to the list. Um, I'm going to use some of these little pom-poms. I have some fabric that uh, I picked up at the Snob. And I have some of this um, adhesive cork that I'm going to use on the bottom here to, you know, keep this from sliding. So, <coughs> in addition to this, I also picked up at the Hobby Lobby because, you know, they're the only people that it this time of the year, and I'm recording this in September, um, that at this time of the year would have this, um, I picked up some Christmas picks. Uh, let's see, this one, they were all 40% off, and this one was 99 cents, so this one was 60 cents. And uh, this one is $1.99, so $1.20, and $1.99, $1.20. So I got some wood pieces, I got some tree pieces, some pine cones, things like that. So I got all of those. And I'm probably going to be needing my wire snippers to cut those apart, okay? All right, what else? Oh, and I found a little hat that I could punch out to make my hat for dad. Okay, so we're going to get to putting this all together. I'm going to move some stuff out of the way. We're going to work on the base. Then we're going to work on these guys. We're going to get it all done. I'll be right back. All right. So first things first, I'm going to take my piece of wood, which is actually a little longer than I would like, but you know, I can live with it. I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to put this on here. And I'm just going to mark where this is. Okay. You guys can't see that. Let me get a marker. Here we go. This will work better. You guys will be able to see it. Um, so I'm just lining this up on the edge and marking it. And then I'm going to cut this just slightly smaller than the marks, but this is adhesive. And so I don't want to put this in any of my cutters. So I think we'll use a craft knife. So I'm going to go slightly inside the line. an eighth of an inch. Give or take. Okay. That way I can just break off the blade, you know, if it gets sticky. Alrighty. And then I'm just going to peel off the backing and put this on here. And you can add some extra glue if you want. The idea is just to make this, you know, so it doesn't slide. Okay. Oh, where, oh, where has my brain gone? There it is. And I'm just going to hit it with the brayer real quick just to make sure that it adheres well. And that's it for the base. Okay. All right. So with these picks, generally the way they do this is these are individual stems. And then they put them together and they either wrap them with paper or they dip them in plastic. Now this one looks like it's wrapped in paper. So I'm gonna see if I can get this one to come apart. Yeah, there we go.
So they build them on a piece of metal, you know, like metal stick. And then they put them together like this. So sometimes you can just pull them out once you loosen it up. So what we're going to do here, we're going to try and just pull these out. And then there's one wrapped around here, so I'm going to get that one unwrapped. Get all of these off of here. See, I have one wrapped. I just need to figure out which one it is. I think it's this vine. It is the vine. And there we go. So I'm just going to unwrap that. And now all of those pieces are separate. Okay. Whew. That was scary. There we go. I don't know why, but this pine cone has like four tails on it. I don't know why. We're going to get rid of that completely because we don't need that on there. Okay. Woohoo! We got those. Next, we're going to talk about these. So these typically go like this. This part, the leaves, usually will just come right down the stem. Bless you, my darling. <laughs> and then, oh, this looks like it's got several layers like that. Here, let me just get rid of that. There we go. That one. here and here and here okay anything different on this one nope this is a pull down too um, so again I'm gonna get rid of the stem take the leaves take off the next one ah I see oh how cute that's little bits of wood are not wood. No, they're foam. How cute is that? And then we got a couple of pine cones here. There we go. So this is all the stuff that we're going to use to decorate. All right. Off to the side with you. And, you know, we'll cut things as we need to. Hot glue. I'm going to bring the hot glue up, get it started. Our hat, we can go ahead and glue that. I have two pieces on this one. Now, you can get these at most craft stores pre-cut in, like, the kids' craft section for the holidays. They have them. So, you can always get, you know, pick them up there. Or you can just cut, you know, like a rectangle, one that's wide enough, um, and then just put a piece across it. it. Makes a perfectly good hat. Okay. What's next? Um, next, we need some scarves. So, I'm going to take this, get my fabric scissors, and I'm going to take a snip and tear, because I don't want them to look perfect, you know? Take a snip, and tear, and I think, I think 
think that our youngin has a little bit of a rebellious streak in him. And so I think he would just have the regular buffalo plaid. So I'm gonna take a big strip of this, and tear it off. And then I'm gonna make a scarf for our little guy. The reason I did that is because this is the selvage edge and you couldn't tear it. Okay. Get rid of the threads. Oh, there are a lot of them. We're going to get rid of these threads. We'll clean these up a little bit. You know. But now we have three scarves. We have a hat. We still need a hat for mom and for our young man. So we're going to be making those next. Um, for those, I'm going to be using some circles cut out of fabric. So, I'm going to get my cutter out while we're waiting for this hot glue gun to heat. And uh, we're going to cut some circles out of fabric. I'll be right back. Okay. So, we have our happy little stick family. We have a base for our happy little stick family that we have our cork on the bottom of. And we have pulled some scarves for our little stick family. And we have a hat for dad. But we need a hat for mom and for the little one. So, I ran some fabrics through my die cutting machine with a large circle and I cut out these okay they're just circles and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them in half I think mom's is probably going to be a little more than half okay and then juniors And I'm going to get out some Fabri-Tac. And all I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put these two corners together, like where I want it to be. And I'm just going to glue it. Okay. So let me get this to about the size that I want. It has to fit on her head. And then I'm just going to glue this. And you can use hot glue to do this too. Okay, there's her hat. We're working on that still. We have some more to do. But for the most part. And then we're going to do his hat. And again, I'm just you know, folding it over, checking it out a little bit more. Let me take a little off of here because it's a bulky one. And then I'm going to come around a little bit of glue. And I'm going to let these dry. And then his, I think that his needs like holly leaves and, you know, some berries. Um, so I have some red vellum. I'm just going to punch some holes. Uh, not with that punch because that punch will mess them up. Let's see. Do I have a regular hole punch somewhere? Of all the tools on the planet, you know the way, one we don't have, right? Uh, 
Okay. So this one. Got a couple holes and a couple of little berry things. There's a couple of layers there that work. And then, hmm, I need some, 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 some. You guys know what I want. And, you know, I want some sprigs of holly. We'll find something. We might have something we can use here. Maybe. A couple of berries. Maybe that one. I'll see if there's a smaller one in here. There could be. So that one looks a little smaller. So we'll look and see in our in our bits and pieces and see what we've got. So now I have my hats. And my little beetles. So we're going to put a beetle on his. And I think we'll put a red one on mom's. Okay? So we're going to use those. And I'm going to be right back. I'm going to set up with the hot glue gun and get everything ready to go. Um, but before. All right. So now we're going to make some hats. So this is our young kid. So we're going to put his hat on. And all I'm going to do is just put a little hot glue at the top. Put his hat on. And I'm going to hot glue it at the back once I get it all set up. I want his hat to kind of fold over, you know. So drop a hot glue here and then uh, I'll drop a hot glue right there and put on a little ball Now, I'm going to take this in the back, and I'm going to kind of pinch it in, put a little hot glue, there, and then once I have that, I'll go ahead and push this part down. Alright, so he's done. He needs a scarf. Let's get his scarf. So what I'm going to do is take this and I'm put it around here. And I'm going to decide how long it needs to be. And I think about there. So I'm going to cut that off and then I'm going to just snip this. Just a little bit and spread it out. Okay. Hot glue. Hot glue. A couple of snips. And I just kind of pull that apart so you can see. He's got little fringes. All right, so he is, he's done. Let's take a look. Now, mom's a little bit more stylish, you know. So her hat's at a jaunty turn off of her head. And I think it goes the other way. Let's see. that 
over there like that and then of course she has her little ball on there like I said she's a little bit jauntier so um, you know a little more stylish so her scarf is gonna kind of reflect that Let's see. I'm gonna open this up a little bit. Fish it in there. Okay. And then put the ends through. You know, like all the snow cool snowmen do. It's going to kind of come down on the side. See, hers is a little bit jauntier. And then Dad, his hat's just going to fit on his head. Right there. So, a little bit of hot glue right across the very tip of his head. Put his hat on. And I gotta see if we got a smoke on. Let's see. Do we have a smaller one? I don't think so. Well, caca. These are definitely too big. But you know what we do have? We have a little pine cone. We do, we do. So, I think we're gonna glue down these little berries. I'm gonna use my tweezers for this because they're very small. And then, where'd my little pine cone go? I have my little pine cone here. And I'm just gonna clean this bit of glue off the end. Put that at the top. Put that right there. And I might find a smaller one and, you know, put that there. We'll see. Um, you never know. Because I might actually have one that I can cut, you know. But I'll have to look. Okay, so then his scarf needs to go on. And he's a traditionalist. He just ties his. A little bit of glue. Stick that one down. And that one. A little bit more, I think, right there. Okay. And we'll get that down. And now we're going to let everything dry. And then I'll be back and we're going to put Junior on and then we're going to finish this up. Okay? Be right back. All right. We have mom dad and the kid all dressed up so we're going to put them on here now here's the thing we're going to put the kid on first kind of in the center and normally i would um use wood glue for this but i don't want to wait you know four hours so i'm going to use some hot glue and uh i will fix this later and what i'm going to do is put it on here and make sure that it's 
all the way at the bottom, just a little bit above, okay? And then we're going to put dad and then mom. All right, mom. Little bit of glue. Mom. So mom's going to be just a little off here of the child. And then the dad. Is actually going to be attached to the side of the child here. And so I will show you all of this in just a second. So like this. So everybody is glued on and the way that they're glued on, I'll turn this around so you can see, is mom is here, the kid is here, and then the dad is kind of glued on to the back of the kid and that leaves a gap. Okay, so we're going to fill the gap. And you can use popsicle sticks to do this. I just happen to have these discs that are the right size. but. Um, you could certainly use <clears throat> popsicle sticks to do this. And what I'm going to do is just get this to the same thickness, which is, for me, about three of these. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue down in there. And I'm going to put this in. So I'm just going to kind of push it down. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to cover it up, okay? So now that keeps him from moving and our kid is glued on and mom is glued and now we're going to go, you know, we're going to start doing this part. So I'm going to take all of these and cut them out of there. Or pull them if you can pull them, pull them. Mine don't want to come out, so I'm going to cut them. Here we go. And we're going to start off with our little logs right here in the front. So let me just, I'm going to tip this back so everybody can see what we're doing. So, I'm going to put the logs right here, which means everybody but me can now see what we're doing. Okay. So, we're going to put the little wood pieces here, and Put in some of these. Hot glue. Put that in. And then maybe one of these in the front. And you can add as much as you want to the front of this and kind of build it up. Let's see. I have some berries. I think there's another one around here someplace. Maybe not. Never know. Could be, might be, maybe, definitely not. There it is. <laughs> you guys could have told me it was back there. I'm kidding. All right. 
So, I'm going to put a leaf right there. And then one little berry right there. And the other little berry right next to it. Yeah. Put those in place for a second. Let that glue dry. Okay. Ooh, I like it. It's very cute. Alrighty. What else? And then we have these bigger ones that we can put on this side. And it doesn't really matter, you know, where we put stuff. We're just filling space. So, a little bit of glue here, that there, and then this one, can go right there, and let's see. Yeah, I'm going to put this in the back. Right in there. I'm just making sure that it sits. In there. Alright, what else? Mm -hmm. Let's think. Let's think! What else? Well, you know. All right, let's see what else. Um, I don't want to use those. I think we'll use one of these. These are styrofoam, so be a little bit careful because styrofoam. Sometimes the hot glue can melt it, you know? So be careful. Right there. What else? We're going to do a little bit over here. Let's cut one of these off. Not sure, but we might, you know. Yep, I'm going to put it right in there. The glue. Put that in. I like it. All right, what else? All right, let's see. Do 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 All right, I'm going to add this one. Put 
la -dee -da. Dee -dee -dee -dee. And these little guys. Get this cut off. these guys right at the end so. there these have the little stems sticking out and they're the actual stems whoa <laughs> so those are wood, <laughs> but your wire cutters should go right through that, so if you run into that situation, shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's see. Get this last one on here, and I think we can color this one done. Okay, so I'm thinking, that's it. I'm like, I'm real happy with it. So I'm gonna let this all dry and set up so that I know it's solid. And uh, that's it. That's my little guys. I'll clean off all of the strings from the hot glue and this will be ready to be, you know, on my table for Christmas or, you know, in front of my tree or wherever I want to put it. Okay, let's be honest. We all know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to give it to Hopper. He's going to put it on the shelf. Uh, <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you have fun with it. Uh, I'd love to see pictures, so if you do this project, post them in the group and um, it's not that expensive. Uh, like I said, it was about a dollar and a half for the paint stirs, so three dollars for that. Um, some fabric scraps, minimal, and the picks were a dollar to two dollars each. I used maybe two picks, and um, the piece of wood I got at the Dollar Tree, so that was a buck, and the cork I had around. So really, this is probably about a five dollar project. That's what it cost. Okay, uh, I'm gonna post a picture of this one and a picture of the one from the Hobby Lobby. And you know, we'll see which one we like. <laughs> That's it, that's all I have for you. If you're new here, uh, make sure that you subscribe. Doesn't cost anything, doesn't hurt you, doesn't, you know, it's nothing. It, it, it's not gonna cause any insects to walk on your body while you're sleeping, uh, but it's also not gonna give you any good luck. It's just gonna, you know, be a nice thing to do. And uh, let's see what else. Give me a thumb one way or the other. I don't care. And until I see you again, remember, check the community tab. Tells you everything that I got going on. Look in the description box below. And until then, stay well, my friends. Bye-bye.